Hello and welcome to my health channel. Today I want to talk about diabetes. It is a huge topic. Therefore, I have decided to split it into two or three separate videos. Please look out for these videos very shortly. In this first video, I'm going to talk about how you would know if you have diabetes. There is indeed no cause for alarm at all. And after watching this video, you then find out that you have some of the symptoms I'm going to discuss later. Believe me, it is a manageable condition. Yes, we know that it's on the rise. In the United Kingdom alone, 46 million of adults are at present time diagnosed with this condition. 13.6 million are at risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Approximately 100 million in the United States live with diabetes or pre-diabetes. There are two types of diabetes, namely type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes appear at any stage. It usually develops in children, teens, and young adults. The onset can be sudden. So, type 1 diabetes is where the body stops producing insulin. It is a serious condition where one's blood sugar or blood glucose is too high simply because one's body cannot make a hormone called insulin. This generally happens because your body attacks cells in the pancreas that make the insulin and this is why the body can't produce insulin at all. The purpose of insulin is that it allows glucose in our blood to enter our cells and fuel our body. With type 2 diabetes, this is caused by poor lifestyle, poor diet and being inactive. Type 2 diabetes causes the level of sugar in the blood to become too high. Type 2 diabetes is where the insulin your pancreas makes cannot work properly or the pancreas cannot make enough insulin so your blood sugar level keeps rising when one has type 2 diabetes the carbohydrate from the food or drink that we take turns to glucose now because insulin can't work properly sugar level rises and more insulin gets released this can lead to someone being at a more risk of hyperglycemia too much sugar in the blood now, 90% of people in the United Kingdom have type 2 diabetes. One in eight cases of type 2 diabetes are now seen in 18 to 40 year olds. If type 2 diabetes is managed well, one can live well with it. There is evidence that type 2 diabetes can be put in remission by losing weight or changing lifestyle, and some people don't need to take medication. The word remission is used because it can come back. So eating healthy food, being active and keeping a healthy weight can really help us um, to manage diabetes and or prevent it from coming on. Okay, symptoms of diabetes um, will include the, the symptoms for type 1 and type 2. Okay, so generally if you find yourself peeing more than usual, particularly at night, if you're feeling thirsty all the time, if you're feeling very tired, if you're losing weight without trying to do so, you're, if you're, fine, you're itching around your penis or vagina and you're repeatedly getting crushed, if you have cuts or wounds that are taking longer to heal, and if you have, you're getting blood vision, these are the symptoms of diabetes, okay? And it's very important that you know that. Now that you know what the symptoms are, you can now monitor your health. If you are really, really concerned or you may feel you may be exhibiting some symptoms that indicate that you may be at risk of this condition, then you, you can seek advice, help or assistance fast from a doctor who can advise and or help you manage this condition. Okay, For those who have no symptoms, they can become aware, change their lifestyle and diet and may offer advice to family and friends and put them on the right route to either good health or to see a doctor okay so i'm going to talk about people who are at risk children may be at children may be at risk of type 1 diabetes adults from 40 years or over may be at risk okay you are more at risk of type 2 diabetes um, if you are over 40 and uh, the older you are the higher the risk of type 2 diabetes if you have closer relatives with diabetes example like father child mother sister increases the risk if you're overweight or obese if a person has an unhealthy lifestyle, eating high calorie diet, the person will be at risk of diabetes. Okay, if your waist size is high, person carries um, um excess fat around their middles, it increases the risk. If you have blood pressure that is diagnosed, 
and your medication, this will contribute to the risk. Okay, blood pressure is referred to as a silent killer. Now, my next two videos will talk about test and diagnosis and ethnicity and diabetes. Okay, so I'm gonna say uh, if you look on the screen, okay, you will notice that um, obesity percent is done by race and sex, okay, and you, you really have to check yourself and make sure that everything is fine. If you're overweight, you have relatives, you have your race or ethnicity, poses a risk, okay, so you have to do exercise, you have to control your diet, you have to improve your lifestyle, you know, so all this really, really goes a long way okay to reduce your risk of diabetes okay so i'm going to say at this point thank you for watching hope this video alleviates any concerns please share to your friends and family so everyone knows and learn something new today subscribe and like my page press the red bell so you will know you'll be the first to know when i upload a new video thank you for watching stay healthy don't worry about anything any symptoms, just go to your doctor and let the investigation start, okay? At least if they catch it on time, it will be very good, okay? Don't play ignorance with your health, okay? Protect the life you love. Protect the life you love. Thank you for watching and have a beautiful time. Thank